Good evening, guys. Yeah, we were chatting with Nick Mayer earlier. He and his wife own the Brick Brack Record Store on Milwaukee Avenue, along with the adjacent coffee shop. And while the coffee is still flowing, the only thing that's been flowing in the record store is water. This is Brick Brack Records and Collectibles uh, in Avondale. This is our life. So. Nick Mayer had whisked himself off to warmer temperatures for the holidays. I was uh, in Alabama for Christmas. When a Facebook message cut the Christmas festivities short. From Good Samaritan neighbor, um, saw, saying that they saw the fire department breaking in and there was water spewing out from under our door. He raced home with thankfully no flight delays to find his Avondale record store soaked through after pipes in the wall popped from the cold. It was pouring onto the records for probably almost 12 hours. Part of the ceiling had even caved in. There's a drywall panel that's just so saturated it collapses onto the records. Ruining everything beneath it. 100%. The records, physically speaking, are fine. They will work, uh, but the sleeves are completely trashed. I mean, some of them legitimately pummeled into pulp because of the force of the water and the duration. Oh. And the damage didn't stop there. The basement took on a ton of water just because of how much was up here. It just found its way into the basement through any nook and cranny. Busting through the electrical system too. Our modem, our routers, like everything got, got fried. All of this just days away from the first anniversary of the store opening at this location. Our first day of business in this location was 360 two days ago, January 1st. With everything going really well up until now. This is definitely a, a low point to end the year. The extent of the water woes will be in the tens of thousands of dollars. We're still sorting through everything. Uh, I would say it's it's going to be at least like 40 or 50 at the end of the day. With Nick telling us all their friends and customers are already rallying around them. But this isn't the kind of inventory you can just cut a check for and replace. It's all, for a lot of it, one of a kind or not necessarily, you know, it's just a used item from 1984. I can't just go to a, yeah. a distributor and, and get more of that. So if you have any collectibles at home and you're hoping to clear out, Nick wants to hear from you. The biggest thing people could do to help right now is just sell us your stuff. Yeah. You know, we records, toys, VHS. Um, Anything to fill up the shelves uh, would, would, would be the biggest thing. And while the music will be stopped here for the next month or so, you can always support the crew by buying a brew at their coffee shop next door. Really hoping we can reopen by the end of January. The brew is open tomorrow. So if anyone needs coffee. He's still keeping a smile on his face there. Nick also telling us a friend will be helping them to design a T-shirt soon to help fundraise. But again, it is probably going to be until the end of January before they can get that store back up and running. We're live in the newsroom. Brona Tumulty, WGN News. We really feel for them. Thank you very much, Brona.